Hello everyone. So in this video, let's discuss the fourth problem from the latest lead code by weekly contest 66 problem name count fertile pyramids in a land. So let's start. The problem goes like this that you are given a n cross m grid consisting of zeros and one and they can be a upward facing pyramid and an inverted pyramid. So you can see that this is a pyramid in which there are three then a uh, top block and this is also a pyramid this is an inverted uh, pyramid. So the pyramid can be like the first is of let's say n block then it is n minus 2 then n minus 5 then n minus 7 and so on till 1. So this is the general way you can find out a pyramid and you just have to tell that how many possible pyramids you can make the like the top facing pyramid and a bottom facing pyramid both of them uh, inverted pyramid what, whatever you can say uh, in this whole grid. Cool. So uh, let's directly move down to the drawing board and make it more clear. So uh, what you can see here is that there can be multiple ways to solve this problem out and you can try it out of your own. There can be multiple ways as well. So let us draw out the pyramid and the best approach which I find out actually is this. So for a pyramid, what you can see here is that let's say this is the apex of any pyramid. So this is one. Okay. In the diagram or in the matrix, it is denoted as one. So let us take it as one only. It is as one. So what you can do here is that in the next step, or if you take it like this, it should be like this. Come all the ones should be like this. Uh, and if it is one more step down, it can be like this. Okay. So these are valid pyramid. This is a valid pyramid and uh, this is also a valid pyramid. So in this scenario, there are two pyramids. Now what you can do here is that you can start for every point possible. Let's say that if you take this, like whenever there's a one, you can take that as a tip of a valid pyramid and check that how long you can go building a pyramid. Now for doing that, what you can do here is that let's say that you take this as the peak of any pyramid, you find out that there's a one here. Now what you can do here is there are three things you have to keep in mind. Whenever you go down, you have to keep in mind that there is a height variable and there is a left pointer that is pointing towards the leftmost point of the pyramid and there's a right pointer that is pointing to the rightmost point. So let's see what you can do here is that let's say that you're on the top. Okay. Your height is zero. Your left is on this point. Also the right is also on this point. If you go one step down, your height will increase by one. Your left pointer should also increase by one. Your right pointer should also increase by one. Okay. Like this, this should decrease the one actually, sorry, it should decrease by one. This should all like this should increase by one. When you go one more step down from this, the left pointer should also decrease by one. Your right point should increase by one. So that is how you can move along a pyramid. I hope you get the point. So you have to move your, like you have to keep track of three pointers. You can say one is moving down. One is moving to the left and one is moving to the right. Now you just have to con confirm that all the values in this left to the right pointer should be equal to let's say five or seven. So they should be equal to the height you are according to, accordingly. Now how you can do that? You can easily see that uh, like in a pyramid, the first value is three then the val next value is five, the next value is seven. So you can use some sort of a counter to store that. Also what you can do here is that uh, how to find out the number of ones between them. So what you can see here is that you just have to find out how many ones are there between this position and this position in a constant amount of time. So how you can find out the number of ones? You can use prefix sums. The prefix sums can be used to find out if you have this, uh, like uh, as you can say, this uh, coordinate and this coordinate, you subtract out the total number of ones till this position minus this position and you can get the total number of ones between these two positions. So simple enough and there is two for loops. One for loop is moving from left to right and like bottom to top. So there are two nested for loops for iterating and taking every point as a tip of the pyramid. And then you have to move three pointers. One is moving down, one is moving to the left, one is moving to the right. And then for every point, you just have to check that whether there's a forming pyramid or not till this point. If it is not, you will break out of this point. Similarly, you, you will do for inverted pyramid also. Like this is the top. So this will increase like this is decrease by one. Decrease means that the index is moving up so decreasing by one 
this is also moving in this direction this is moving in the, in the, the, like in this direction so this is increasing by one this is decreasing by one that is how you can like move out the three pointers until at every point you can move you just build out the parameters and you can just print out the total answer that's the whole logical part for this problem let's move down to the solution part so what you can see here is that uh, there, there is n and m that is the grid dimensions then there's a vector to find out the prefix sums you can just easily find out the prefix sums then the answer total number parameters you can form then what you can do here is that i and j is a starting point for the pref like the tip of the pyramid you're talking about count is equal to one now count is actually used to store key at which level you are how many blocks are there i've told you that in the first level it should be one then three then five so count is increasing by two at every point okay so like it is one then three then five and so on now what you can see here is that you have three pointers x is equal to i that is the row y and j is also uh, that is the columns then they both should be equal to j the starting tip now what you will do all the three pointers should be inbound anything that is go out of bound you just break out because everything should be inbound of that uh, plot you have okay now you just have to find out the prefix sums between the like the two left and right pointer that are moving it should be equal to the count value because count is counting out how many length like how many one should be there between the left and the right most point of the pyramid if they are fine then you just add like your answer by this as you can see the answer is added and you just increment the count plus two because now you're going to the next level so the now, so now in the first level it is say three so next level will be five and seven so so on and you if you're also going to the next level x will increase by one y one is decreasing by one because you go into the left and y2 is increasing by one so y1 like like y2 is increasing by one because it is going to the right so that is how you are finding out the pyramid that is pointed top so you are moving like this similarly you have to find out for the inverted pyramids and you just like find out a total answer so that's the whole logical part and code for this video you can like pause this video and see that this is the code if you still have notes you can mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see next one i'll keep coding and bye